What's good, he's Sheltron here. You can call me Shells, and I'm back out again with a brand new video, and I'm gonna keep it a bow, Bray Biscuit. The Carolina Panthers have done the unthinkable. This team, this franchise, this organization has done something that not a single fan could have ever predicted. Not in a million years. But before I get into all that, I want to make a quick announcement right now, man. Uh, as y'all know, I'm doing these videos right now a little bit differently than what y'all are used to. I know y'all like the full screen videos where I have a lot more stuff going on, the better setup and all that kind of stuff. But there's a reason why I'm doing my videos like this right now, and that's because my good camera broke. All right, so I got to get a new camera and nice cameras. They ain't cheap. So while we're getting that handled, we'll be doing videos like this, hopefully for not too long, but just a little update for y'all wondering why I'm doing videos like this. But let's jump right into the news because this is very, very big news for this franchise. Let's go down and see what Adam Schefter has to say. Adam Schefter's tweet from just earlier today, right before noon, he said the Panthers are releasing two-time Pro Bowl defensive tackle k Short today per source. Teams in the market for a defensive tackle help now have another strong option. And I pray to God they find what they're looking for with k Short because Lord knows over the past couple years, we ain't get that. Now look, ever since Star left, KK's been kind of declining year after year. He's still been good. Let's not, let's not cap. KK has been good. But it wasn't the same magical KK we've come to know and love in Carolina being that anchor in the interior of our defensive line. And we thought that, okay, cool, look, we use our first round pick on Derrick Brown. And if KK Short has a player beside him who can can take one-on-ones and maybe even uh, magnetize some double teams, that can bring a resurgence in KK's game. And likewise, if KK is the one drawing double teams, then Derrick Brown is going to be a monster in the interior. It just didn't work out. KK did get hurt again. Hurt his shoulder once again in 2019, if you remember. I think it was October 1st or 15th where he had that rotator cuff injury and he was out for the rest of the year. Happened again this year, another shoulder injury, and he was out for the rest of the season. So he didn't get very much out of KK for the past two years. And let's be real about it. When he was in, at least this year, he did not look like he, look, let's be, let's be real about it. KK did not look like himself. He looked like a shell of himself. Like he was just out there going through the motions he didn't look horrible but he did not look good the nfl is a what have you done for me lately league and lately we ain't seen very much good come out of kk short so it was time for him to hit the bricks and speaking of bricks let's add an n before that x look the bricks truck gonna have to back up because with this move according to phil yates he says releasing k1 short clears up eight 0.6 million dollars in cap space for Carolina. He was in the final year of his deal and due 12 and a half million in base salary. If slash win healthy, he's still a disruptive interior defensive lineman. Short turned 32 earlier this month. And let's be real, 32 is getting up there, but it's not exactly retirement age. But when you think about two straight years of shoulder surgeries, two straight years of season ending shoulder injuries, Y'all sensing the theme here between him and perhaps a different player on the Panthers who's now gone? I won't get into that. But let's be real about it, man. That shoulder is very important for that other player and for KK Short because obviously you use that motion a lot. It's hard to, when your rotator cuff is hurt and injured two straight years, it's very, very hard to go ahead and make the kind of moves you have to make if you're in the trenches. You have contact on every single play. The O-line and D-line are the only positions where the players definitely will make contact on every single down in the NFL. And you're always using that shoulder and you're always using that motion. So right now, getting out from under this contract, saving almost $9 million in order to get away from KK and not allow him to hit our, our cap crazy and maybe even stunt Derrick Brown's growth. We can get someone beside him maybe and we can free up some, some money to pay to bring someone beside him. 8.6 million is definitely enough to find someone, maybe even a couple someones. There are holes up and down this roster and not just on the D-line. The D-line is probably the most safe position on this team. I'm looking at the O-line, looking at maybe even a running back to go behind C-Mac, looking at the secondary, the linebacker core. Basically, everywhere you look outside of the D-line needs a little bit of help. Have you heard of a quarterback? 
All right, then. Y'all still got five on it? Let me know. But look, KK Short, he had a good run. I always will respect KK being on the Panthers. He had a huge impact before he got hurt and old. And honestly, before Starla Tulele did move on to Greener Pastors, doesn't really matter. Let's, look, let's be real about it. KK, you put in work while you were here, bro. Always will respect you as a Panther. And it was just a time to move on. I think every single Panthers fan is 100% cool with us moving on. And at the very least, at least we did not do him dirty in cutting him like we did with Cam and Greg Olson, who had to come back and, and, and bring up the receipts like, nah, son, y'all did not do me the way you all trying to portray to the public. That this whole thing went down. like it, 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 Things happen a little differently. And the people need to know that. I think we did this the right way. And honestly, most fans wanted KK Short gone as well. So most fans wouldn't have cared anyway. If you did him wrong or whatever. It's like, hey, we wouldn't have gone anyway. So it is what it is. Free Agency 2021 has officially started for the Carolina Panthers. And it starts with a bang. KK Short is gone. He is out the back door. We got a lot more news coming for you real soon, man. And like I mentioned earlier, we'll be doing it like this until I get my new camera. Don't know when that's going to be. But until next time, let me know all your thoughts about KK Short, this move, the money, how it should be used, what the team should do. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And you already know what to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win. 